yeah, I just thought I'd like to document this. Take time, be present, and bring you along the way. Poor Raven here. I thought I'd do a little bit of a walk and talk video on this fine Friday evening. You can see we've got a nice sunset happening over there, albeit the clouds are quite extensive. They're rolled in. Whether you can see that, just walking by this fishing lake here. And it's really nice. It's lovely. Summer's done. Autumn's here. Autumn is amongst us. It's starting to cool down a little bit. Time to pull out the hoodies or the jumpers. And it's quite nice. I like this time of year. I love summer. It's it's fantastic getting that vitamin D, getting the UV on board, and you feel very, very good with that little bit of extra suntan and more developed sense of wellness but again i very much like very much like autumn i think the colors of the leaves are lovely everything starts to go a little bit colder the nights start to draw in here they start to get darker sooner the mornings are darker it's just a nice feeling but i thought i'd do a a video um some of you may have noticed that i've changed the the heading on my YouTube channel from Brains, Brawn and Barbells and I've reverted this back to my name Paul Raven which is fine. My channel kind of started out as like a storage space. I started the channel as a means to put some coursework on my sports massage coursework that I did well maybe 10 years ago we had to have a place where we could store this information uh, for the assessor, for the lecturer to assess the video uh, footage. We all opted for YouTube, so it's just easier that way. And I kept my my sports massage videos on there. I think I had them all private or unlisted at one point, and then I'd forgot about them. I must have unlisted them, then went so long and forgot about them. And they seem to have accumulated views and things like this, but they are terrible. It was for a module, for a unit on sports massage, my on my HND year. And I don't know why I still got them. I did I did make them on public because, you know, the algorithm and I didn't want it to, you know, feed the algorithm and have a lack of audience or an audience that was interested in my other content uh, pertaining to nutrition and health and lifestyle and things like this um, and exercise. So I'm a little bit sceptical as to whether I keep those public or maybe I take them off public viewing. So maybe the algorithm will you know, work in the favour that I'll be presented to an audience that aren't interested to, you know, within the sports massage side of things. Like I said, it was just for a, it was just for a, um, a unit, a module for a course that I was doing at the time for my, uh, my university equivalent studies. Take it with a pinch of salt, please. I'm, I'm more than sure that there's more professional, um, more up to scratch videos um, out there than what's what you'll see on those uh, videos so but yeah that I mean that's just to preface this um, I've I've changed my channel back to my name so some of you may know that I'm within like the personal training and coaching spheres and s underwent a brand of brains brawn and barbells a name that I conjured from all brawn and no brains idea and you know I developed a a summary around as to why I selected it from those words and you know my my philosophy and what I believe in but what I've done is I've I sort of come away from this I would like to almost open out like the niche almost de-niche or you know remove this that sort of scope from my channel I'd like to make it more encompassing to lifestyle wellness health nutrition freedom growth investing make it more well-rounded and make it more available to a wider audience oh yeah oh yeah okay just a pet and a dog i would like to make it less narrow um my channel isn't about sports massage therapy so i think i might have to make those put those videos non-public 
or unlist them. I want to appeal to an audience that are interested in learning ways that they can improve their lifestyle via the means of exercise, nutrition, mindset, personal growth, emotional growth, social growth, everything lifestyle. Improve our lifestyles. That's what, that's what excites me. Again, it's finding the audience and I, w- I want to take, I want to take the audience on a journey with me. I want to be able to reach out and help people the best I can. Some of you who have followed me may know that I was an educator, I was a uh, lecturer for nearly a decade where I come out of my studies and was cast by my own choice straight into the area of teaching. For nearly a decade, I spent my time helping, supporting, teaching, educating, facilitating, counselling younger people and young adults and older adults and everyone in between. Because lecturing and teaching is in the post-16 sphere, so everyone from 16 all the way up to whatever age that they was enrolled on the uh, education in. But that aside, I still have the itch to want to help people and educate people. And I think that's something that isn't, you know, going to go away. And I think that's just a part of me. I think with my very narrow understanding of personality, and the the psychology behind personality and X, Y, and Z and insert theory here and da-da-da-da. Like, my sort of personality really operates on logic, calculated moves, facts and research and wanting to know more and why and how and... I can be very tight and uptight and restricted on camera. Just have a look over there. Looks lovely. We have a church over there. And then just behind the church we have this wonderful, wonderful red brick castle. Outstanding. I don't know if you can see that just over there. Just over there. It's wonderful really is nice lovely to walk around in the evening and really nice to walk around in the mornings but my personality type again getting out up in front of the camera isn't an easy thing for me and it isn't for many other people but I'm going to do this and I need to do this almost losing my train of thought I want to persevere with providing knowledge and education and information but also develop develop a community alongside that and bring you along the way since the the lockdowns and all the rest of that business that come along with lockdowns um i think especially like individuals maybe like myself who thrive on science and you know the 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 evidence and this side of things it's very easy to get caught up in that and you can become paralysed by analysing it. Paralysis by analysis. You sit there and wonder the hows and whys and this can't be right. And you approach things from several different angles. And you, you're very critical. You're very critical of a situation or a scenario. And coming off the back of this lockdown business, I think it's thrown many people a paradigm shift. And I know it did with me. January 2022, we're now September 2022. Before January 2022, November 21, you know, I made some of the biggest changes of my life in terms of my career and what I wanted out of life. And I think, again, this probably happened with a lot of other people. I'm just one person, but one person in in the world. I'm pretty sure this happened to millions of people, um, probably. And, uh, Yeah, I just thought I'd like to document this. Take time, be present, 
and bring you along the way. The last few weeks have been quite, quite a challenge really, trying to help friends and understand and support friends within their times of hardship. Um, and being, trying to be a good ear, trying to be someone who can listen and that they can sound off towards, I think, a good thing. I think sometimes it's easy to get caught up in your own, in your own situation, which is completely fine because you have to look out for yourself. I know that. Very sure many of you also know that. But finding the the time just to ask other people if they're okay, give them a few minutes, let them open up. You know, that could be quite cathartic for many people, just having that time to be able to speak. And I think that's quite important. So that's something that I've been exercising a bit more of. With some of the content that sidelining off onto a tangent, some of the content that I've made on the channel on like the nutrition sides of things, I made, I think, four videos, like longer content videos. Um, you know, the lighting in the background sort of thing, the, the Canon 70D, like, you know, you've got your, your, your camera up, you've got the lighting and just experimenting with um, very, 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 very basic filmmaking. We have a motorbike back here somewhere making lots of noise, um, which is fantastic. Um, and, you know, I'd like to get to back to making some more long content. Yeah, with a motorbike. I would like to get back to making some sorts of long content. The channel on the top of my page is Perspectives. Um, <clears throat> and I think, not the challenge perspectives to say, or, you know, to be brutal, it's, but providing an alternative perspective. You know, not that my perspective means anything. Um, and it's almost like one of those walk and talk videos maybe I can try, start by putting out a walk and talk, a ramble or a walk and talk video, you know, help others provide support or educational knowledge or whatever the case is. Um, to some people, this sort of stuff comes really easy, really natural. And to others, it doesn't. Yeah, this is just that longer sort of content, walking and talking. And again, we have a we have a swan down here. See this guy? He's down there underneath that bridge, chilling out. Just navigating my way underneath the... I've got some posts there. On this walk around. Looks quite, quite eerie down there, which is quite cool. And that actually takes you down and round, which is a really nice spot where I typically walk around these river banks. Very nice indeed. Let's walk up here a little bit further. So you should be able to see now the castle actually coming out um, in better view now. You can see it just over here. It's lovely. Probably notice that I'm not always looking directly at the camera and by habit I'm looking at what's moving the stimulus which is my big round head on the screen um, which is really off-putting but I keep looking that way because it moves so I need to make sure I keep looking at this uh, lens but yeah just thought I'd really catch in and check in and let you almost know where I've been I'm busy, busy searching, finding, exploring. I want to open out the, the shop floor to everything, lifestyle. Um, and as I reiterated, that sounding like a broken record, I want to take people along the way. Um, you know, so I think I need to start again. It's probably going to mess up the algorithm a little bit because I'm not niching down on a specific area. But again, it's something that I need to do and I want to do. You know, I come out of education 
delivery of education for like full time. Um, I took myself away from it for specific reasons. Um, I might do some videos actually on that and why and how and things like this. Um, but education's ever changing. Anyone that's looking to get into education, teaching here in the UK specifically, um, it's it's ever changing. It implodes on itself and it grows. It's very elastic is education. Um, over the short time that I was in it of over eight years, nine years or whatever, um, and then the assessing and stuff, you know, I've seen it develop and fall and develop and it changes like everything. Um, like fashion, things go out of fashion, but then they come back in fashion. Education's the same. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I want to make sure that I've still got a hand in somewhere in providing education or knowledge or support or guidance to those who want it or those who are interested in it. Anyway, I think it's probably time to sign off here. You can see it's a lovely evening. The sky looks lovely. Talk to you soon. Peace out.